In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to create your own titles. This is very helpful because if you're like me, you're going to find you create some titles with fonts and shadings and outlines a certain way, and you use them over and over in future projects. So why not create your own custom set of titles? We'll do that today. Before I do my title, I want to give a background to see it in, so I'll click on a color board and drag the blue one down into track one. Now we're going to pick a title. So I can go to the title room by clicking here or pressing the F7 key that will give me my titles. And the default is all my title content. So we're going to create one from one. I'll click on the default and drag it down. Now I can drag it down to track two or any subsequent track, or the T track, which is my title track. Now, it really doesn't matter which one you pick, but it's often safer to do the title track because, you know, this will be on top since it will be lower in your system and you're, you're sure that it's not obscured by something else. But I've had projects where I've had titles on multiple tracks, so the functionality doesn't change. So now let's go ahead and edit this particular uh, title. I can double click on it or I can click on the F2 key on my keyboard and I get into the title designer. And so what I want to do first of all is I want to change this from my title. We'll just call this uh, our test. And then we'll, we, we will increase the size of the font. Oop, I have to highlight the whole thing or either that or click on the box. So we'll make it bigger. Let me give you a little bit of uh, advice about how to choose a font here. When you look at most professional uh, products, either advertising or uh, other professional clips, you find that they often use a font like this, a sans serif font. It's a font without curly things on it. Um, let me uh, called serifs. So let me give you some examples. Um, you can use some rather odd fonts, but if you take one like this, this is a serif font, and this is a serif font. Uh, if it's more straight lines, you can use Arial, you can use uh, a whole host of them that, that are found. There's a serif font, but the most common ones are those which are uh, sans serif. In other words, they've got the more straight feature to them, and any of these will work fine. Uh, so let me just take one of these. Let's take a Franklin Gothic here, and we'll use this one to start with. You can make it bold and uh, or turn it off or italic or underline. But, but sans serif white font is the most common font you find in professional productions simply because it works. And you can change the leading, which is the space between the lines. You can change the kerning by using uh, the selection here. And if you don't like the uh, numbers you find here, you can type in your own. I'll just hit like a two here and put that in there. And that gave me a, uh, a spacing of two. Now there are two other things that are very common on often used fonts, especially in commercials and professional work. The face is white uh, and we've got that set. The second is shadow. Oftentimes, there will be a shadow that's used. And the shadow can be uh, to any degree of the compass you like. I kind of like mine to the lower right. And you can control the distance with this slider. And what I normally do, well, I'll start it with that, but then I'll tweak it by going here. And you can go up and down by uh, a tenth of a point at a time. And sometimes a shadow, you'll often find that when they do a shadow like this, it will use maybe three three or less, and then we'll just use a blur of one. Just kind of soften it just a little bit. The other option that I, I find very common in fonts that I like to use over and over again is put a border on it. And here it starts out with a white border. I'll click on the uniform color button, change that to black, and click on OK. And then I'll click the size down to either two or one. Now, white fonts with a black border with a slight shadow are very common in most commercial uses. 
there'll be times when they use something really uh, fancy or, or different. But for lots of what you see on TV, this is the font. Uh, you can change the, the title to a different kind of, uh, of font if you like. Uh, but most of the time it's going to be sans serif and it's going to be <clears throat> have these characteristics to it. So I like this one and, and maybe I don't want the default to be quite that big. So having clicked on it, I'll change the size down. Maybe I'll use something like that. Maybe in this particular case, I'll make this one bold. If I want to save this to use it over and over again, all I click do is click on Save As. I click on Save As. It'll say, give me a name. I will call this uh, My Standard and click on OK. Now it saved that particular title. So I'm going to, hit, going to go ahead and uh, get out of here by clicking uh, Cancel. And now if I look in, under All Content, uh, I have an option called My Standard. It actually stores it in the custom folder. There's the My Standard. And I can go ahead and apply this as often as I want. And all I have to do is either press F2 or double click on it. I can uh, change the content without changing the look and feel. And there I have it. I can use it over and over and over again with all kinds of backgrounds and all kinds of settings. So if you find some fonts that you design that you really like, it will store them in custom. You can also click on up here to all content and you will still see them. Uh, so that's two places you can go. Now you can delete these fonts. Fortunately, you can't delete the built-in fonts, but these are deletable. So if I go back to my custom folder, I don't like the My Standard. I can click right-click on it and I can choose Delete. And you say, are you sure? And then, yes. So there it goes. So now this font's no longer based on that format. It's just independent. But what you can do with these fonts is save a lot of time because when you design them the way you want, uh, use them over and over and over again in your projects and you'll be very happy with the results. Thank you.